The EFADS is the European Association of Film Agencies. Uh, we bring together 31 film agencies across Europe, from 28 member states plus Switzerland, Norway and Iceland. So we have actually a big coverage of, uh, of members, uh, bodies, which are public authorities that are, as you know, distributing money to support the creation, the production, and also the, the distribution of, of European independent films in Europe. So actually, we, from the very beginning, when all the debate uh, with the new commission about the digital single market and the copyright reform, we were extremely interested and concerned. So we've set up a working group uh, in the EFAT to, to follow that very closely. So we have a group of 10, 12 countries that are meeting very regularly. Uh, a good balance between Eastern European countries and Western countries. So we meet and we try to assess the impact of these measures, of these ideas on the film industry and our sector. And the position, so we issued a first position uh, on the copyright reform uh, back in February. Everything is available on our website. And basically what we said is that uh, for us we were not uh, demanding, we were not asking for a reform on copyright. But if the Commission wants to go that way, uh, it has to keep in mind some key principles, such as the importance, the importance of territoriality for the sector, and also rebalance with a stronger action, ambitious proposals in the area of enforcement, I mean anti-piracy policy. And here we need the EU, if you want to have uh, a bigger online offers of legal works, of uh, legal offers that would be stronger in the EU, you need also to act on this front, the piracy front. The objective of the digital single market, which is the big, big ambition of the new commission, is to suppress the barriers that you could have in the circulation of services and goods in the online environment. And the, the, the idea that they have is that they should do that to foster the circulation of films, of works, in the online uh, environment also. And to do so, they think that they should change the copyright framework, that is uh, a directive and perhaps other, uh, other texts. So they think that it, make it, make a it will make a change and it will uh, facilitate the circulation of works. We don't necessarily make the link, with, we are not sure that changing the copyright framework will really facilitate the circulation of works. And we have concerns that it may diminish the offer and it may also put in a very bad situation the distribution sector and also the financing of works. So we see the objective, the, obje the objective we believe in as well and we, are, we agree with the Commission of this general objective of having more works accessible online in all the EU. We want, of course, all the countries to have more active, more dynamic VOD offers with a large variety of works not only blockbusters, but a large variety of works subtitled in the language of the country. We want that. But we think this is going to take time, and we think it's not the moment, in a moment of mutation, everything is changing now. It's not the right moment to have a big bang approach in reforming the copyright framework. For the moment, we, we don't know precisely what the Commission will propose and we will know it at the end of this year. We just know about the main angles, the main orientations and uh, there is a plan to uh, facilitate the possibility when you are a subscriber to a, a, a SVOD service that you can travel with a subscription. And here for the EFATS, we, we believe that things can change and that there must be some improvement. We would like to let the market work on that because there are already some changes and some solutions that are offered. It's not that easy. It's not a very straightforward uh, uh, change that we will have, uh, but things may, may evolve. We may not need the copyright reform to do it, but we, we agree on this objective of, of portability. Where we are more concerned is about this project of online cross-border access to works. 
It means basically that a consumer could buy, rent, a work, a film, wherever he is established, wherever he is, on whatever platform in Europe. So that's basically the end of territoriality, because as a distributor, you would have invest on putting your film on a platform, invested in promotion and marketing, but actually this investment that you would have done for a specific territory would be used by all the consumers. So what would be for you the incentives to invest if you can have you cannot have the exclusivity to recoup your costs. So we think that basically it may make it more difficult for firms to find pre-sales, to find private investors who will want to put money on a firm because they will have the chance to exploit the work on a specific territory because everything will be open to everybody. So we are not sure about this for the financing of firms and also for the good distribution of firms at, at local level with subtitles on the local platform. So we fear that in the end, this opening up for the, the online distribution may lead to less offers for all the countries, uh, less platforms, a concentration of the platform. And what will they do, basically? They will buy, of course, uh, less difficult movies with less uh, requirement for subtitles. So in terms of diversity, we may also lose a lot. Well, this is my first time in, in Carlo Vivari and, uh, and I, I didn't know what to expect coming here. I had actually no picture in mind. Uh, I'm new to the sector as well, so everything is a bit new. And also to discover this, this wonderful city, it's amazing. It's amazing how we are welcome here. It's amazing to see the offer, uh, the dynamism of the film industries in this part of Europe. So I'm really enthusiastic, I'm really happy to be here. I hope I will have the time to enjoy a, a couple of films, because for the moment it has all been about uh, talks, political talks, because it's also that Carlo Vivari, a lot of institutions institutional talks, very interesting, but I hope to have the time to see, to see movies. And I would say in French, because it's my native language, Bon anniversaire au Festival de Carlo Vivari.